Have you ever wondered if the events happening around us have already been foretold? It's a question that has intrigued humanity for centuries, a riddle that bridges the gap between the known and the unknown. The relevance of prophetic signs is not to be dismissed lightly. They serve as a compass guiding us through the vast expanse of history and offering glimpses of what might lie ahead. These signs, etched in the sacred scriptures, are like pieces of a puzzle, each one vital to the complete picture. Understanding the chronology of these signs in the scriptures is of utmost importance. It's like threading a needle through the fabric of time, each stitch representing a prophetic sign seamlessly woven into the tapestry of our existence. Today, we delve into the world of prophecy, journeying through time as foretold in the scriptures. It's a journey that promises to be as enlightening as it is intriguing, a voyage into the heart of time itself. Our journey begins at the dawn of prophecy, where the first signs are recorded. In the annals of ancient times, etched in the sacred texts of various civilizations, we find the earliest indications of prophetic signs. These were not mere statements of future events, no, these were profound revelations, divine messages that would shape the course of human history. Imagine being in those ancient times, hearing the words of the prophets as they spoke of future events. It must have been an awe-inspiring, even frightening experience. These prophetic signs held a unique significance. They were like the first light of dawn, piercing through the darkness of uncertainty and ignorance, illuminating the path of mankind. In the grand tapestry of the prophetic timeline, these early signs were the threads that started weaving the intricate patterns of divine wisdom and foreknowledge. From ancient Sumerians to the Hebrew prophets, these early signs were the whispers of destiny, a divine script unfolding in the theater of human history. But what was the purpose of these signs? Why were they given? The answer is both simple and profound. These signs were given to prepare us, to guide us, and to give us hope. They were the roadmaps to the future, providing a glimpse of what was to come. They were not meant to frighten, but to enlighten. These early signs were the precursors of what was to come. They were the initial sparks before the great fire of prophecy that would engulf the world in later times. They were the first strokes of the grand painting of prophecy, the first notes of the symphony of divine revelation. And as we delve deeper into the realm of prophecy, we see that these early signs were just the beginning. They set the stage for what was to follow, a grand narrative of divine intervention, human struggle, and ultimate redemption. As the first chapter of prophecy closes, a new era begins filled with signs that resonate with our times. This era, filled with challenges and opportunities, is a testament to the enduring relevance of these prophetic signs. So, let us journey forward, exploring the unfolding narrative of prophecy and discovering the profound truths hidden within. As we venture into the Middle Ages of prophecy, the signs become more relevant to our current state of affairs. In this era, the prophetic signs took on a more concrete form and began to mirror the world as we know it today. The scriptures from this period are filled with prophetic signs that bear an uncanny resemblance to our present-day reality. The predictions of wars, famines, and natural disasters are all too familiar. But remember, these are not mere coincidences. They are part of a divine chronology that has been unfolding since the dawn of time. Let's delve deeper. The prophecies from the Middle Ages spoke of nations rising against nations, of kingdoms against kingdoms. Doesn't this sound eerily similar to the global conflicts we see today? The scriptures also warned of widespread starvation, diseases, and calamities. With the current state of global hunger, health crises, and environmental disasters, it's hard to dismiss these prophecies as mere ancient tales. But it's not all doom and gloom. The prophecies from the Middle Ages also spoke of hope and salvation. They foretold the rise of a new generation of believers who would seek wisdom and understanding. Today, we see a resurgence in faith and an increasing number of people turning towards the scriptures for guidance. It's important to reiterate the significance of chronology here. The unfolding of these prophetic signs is not random. It follows a specific order, a divine timeline, if you will. 
Understanding this chronology not only gives us insight into the prophecies, but also helps us make sense of our current state of affairs. As we navigate through the complexities of our world today, these prophecies serve as a guiding light. They remind us that we are a part of a larger narrative, a divine plan that has been in motion for centuries. The Middle Ages of prophecy set the stage for the end times where the signs become even more profound. We now find ourselves in the end times where the prophetic signs are at their most potent. The end times, as foretold by the scriptures, are marked by a series of events and signs. These prophetic symbols are not merely tales of old, they resonate with our world today, adding a sense of urgency to our understanding of prophecy. Firstly, we see the emergence of a global crisis. The scriptures hinted at a time of great tribulation, a period of unparalleled distress. The world today is indeed facing numerous challenges, from climate change to political unrest, from economic disparities to global pandemics. These crises align with the prophetic vision of a world in turmoil during the end times. Secondly, there's the rise of false prophets and deceivers, another clear sign of the end times. The scriptures warned us of individuals who would claim to have divine insight, only to lead many astray. Today, we see no shortage of such figures, using technology and mass media to spread their misleading messages far and wide. Next, the prophetic signs also speak of a resurgence of spirituality, a turning back to faith. Despite the trials and tribulations, people are increasingly seeking solace in spiritual practices, looking for answers beyond the material world. This renewed interest in spirituality resonates with the prophetic prediction of a spiritual awakening in the end times. Lastly, the prophecies highlight a sense of moral decay, a loss of ethical values in society. We see this reflected in our world today where greed, corruption and deceit seem all too prevalent. This moral decline is yet another sign that we are indeed living in the end times. Understanding these prophetic signs is of paramount importance. They serve as a compass, guiding us through the turbulent waters of our time. They remind us that the end times are not just about doom and gloom, but also about awakening, transformation and redemption. The end times serve as a stark reminder of the power and accuracy of prophecy. But what does it all mean for us? The prophetic signs are not mere predictions, but lessons waiting to be learned. With this in mind, Let's revisit the key points we've explored today. We began with the dawn of prophecy, where we witnessed the birth of divine messages and their profound impact on the course of history. Moving on, we journeyed through the Middle Ages of prophecy, a period rich with symbolic revelations that continue to intrigue scholars and enthusiasts alike. And then, we delved into the end times, a topic often shrouded in fear and uncertainty. Yet it's crucial to remember that these signs are not meant to invoke fear, but to inspire introspection and spiritual growth. They serve as reminders for us to reflect on our actions, our beliefs, and our place in this world. As we journey through prophecy, remember the signs are not only about what's to come, but also about what we can learn and how we can grow.